Hi guys. So I'm here today to talk to you guys um, and raise awareness about um, rare brain diseases. Now mine has two different things it could be called either pseudotumor cerebri or intracranial hypertension. Um, and they call this one the silent disease because you can't tell that someone is sick from the outside. Um, you can't tell that we're living life in debilitating pain majority of the time. Now with this disease, what it is is that your brain is always surrounded by cerebrospinal fluid and when you have this disease, it doesn't know when to stop producing the fluid, so it just keeps building up and it starts squishing your brain. And so your all your nerves and your body are all affected by it. And um, the way I actually found out was in January of, I believe, 2013, I started losing my vision. Um, my eyes were blacking out in and out throughout the day, so I knew something was wrong at that point. Um, before that point, I had been having headaches probably every day for about 10 years, but I just attributed them to like colds or stress and things like that. So um, after I found out, I actually scheduled appointment with an ophthalmologist and so they dilated my eyes and when they looked inside they could see that all the nerves running from my brain were all swollen and um, at that point we knew something was definitely wrong so then from that point on they referred me to a neurologist um, so that's who I went to go see next and that's when I got diagnosed with the disease now the first um, the first thing they wanted to try was medication. Um, surgery was kind of a last option. I really didn't want to do that if I didn't have to. So we got on the Diamox, which is actually um, a diuretic. It's supposed to um, reduce the amount of fluid that's being produced. So I was on that for a little while. Um, it didn't do anything for me. They even upped the dose. It still didn't do anything for me. My symptoms were getting worse and worse. Um, the headaches were just immense at that point. And um, so by that point, I had to get a spinal tap, my first spinal tap, to see what the pressures really were. And according to my neurologist, the pressure is supposed to be at 18 or less um, for a normal brain. And mine was at a 36. So it was pretty much double what it's supposed to be. Um, and so at that point then they decided I needed surgery. So um, we had discussed my options, which would be a ventro um, peritoneal shunt, which goes in directly into your brain, or the lumbar shunt, which goes through your spine. So automatically I opted for the lumbar shunt because it just seems so much um, less invasive than the ventro ventro peritoneal shunt. Sorry, I can't say that. Um, so I had that done in August 2013. Um, I had the surgery done. However, my doctor did not put a valve on the first time to regulate the amount of fluid. So it actually drained my brain of all the fluid. Um, and I had crazy, crazy low pressure headaches. I couldn't stand, I couldn't hold my head up. It was really terrible seven days. Um, and after that, I actually got rushed back into the emergency room because I couldn't handle the pain anymore. And at that point, they rushed me back in for surgery in order to put a valve on. So I had two surgeries in a matter of seven days. But after that, that was actually my only revision I've had since then. It's been two years, um, and it's been functioning properly. The recovery process afterwards was actually really not that bad. After the second revision, it was not that bad. Um, took me about two weeks to feel back to myself again, and then after three weeks, I was back to work. And since then, I haven't really had too many issues besides some back pain, um, and I still have headaches now and again, probably like three a week or so, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the situation. Um, but other than that, I mean, a lot of people have it a lot worse than me. So I guess I'm really lucky in terms of um, how my symptoms are portraying themselves so far. 
Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to answer. Uh, sorry, ask me in the comments below and I will gladly answer them for you. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.